Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Hunter Tuned. Today I'm just doing a quick little video for you guys to show you uh, how to install an S300 into your P28 ECU. Um, I have a brand new S300 V3 here and I'm going to be installing this into a customer's computer for him. I do offer these services on my website as well as chipping services and remote tuning, regular tuning and whatever you need for your Honda. You hit me up and I can help you out. So anyways, I figured I would show you guys uh, quick the S300 V3 and show you what comes in the box. So this is the S300 and uh, when we open it up, we are going to find out that it comes with a chip. This is the Honda S300 chip that is going to be installed into the ECU. And then it also comes with a USB to serial adapter or this is like a, it's not serial, it's like a printer cable, pretty much. So that is nice, they supply you with the cable, and then they also supply you with the necessary components to chip your computer for the Honda. So they give you this really long uh, strip here of pins that you need to cut uh, nine, nine, and four. So you cut sections of nine, and then a chunk will be left over that is four pins. So we're gonna have to do that first. Also comes with this wiring here. This is for add-ons, you know, like a boost controller or uh, you know any analog output. If you want to control nitrous or anything like that, you have these uh, extra uh, add-on plugins. And it comes with an instruction manual here. Shows you how to install the drivers and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, cut up quick and then we will proceed to installing it into the computer and soldering these pins into it. Okay guys, so I just got the ECU all soldered up. I got all the components installed into the board. Um, I didn't really film a lot of it because I actually have a previous video um, how to chip a P28. It's very, it's the basic concept of how to do this. Uh, you just gotta desolder the board and then install the components they supply you, which is very, very similar to a normal chip kit. Um, and I'm just letting the uh, ECU dry right now. I usually put clear coat over the ECU board when I'm done. That way it gives it uh, good protection for the long-term haul. And uh, so you pretty much just install the pins accordingly, uh, four by the data logging header, and then nine, or no, it's, 14 on each side. I said nine earlier, seven or something, but it's 14 on each side because it's a 28 pin connector. Uh, so you just do that and then solder it all up on the back side there. So this is all good. This ECU actually looked like complete shit when he gave it to me because this was a manual or an automatic ECU and somebody else previously converted it and they burnt the board a little bit in one spot, but I saved it and it still works. So this ECU is still good to go. Um, but anyways, I got that all installed. Now I'm going to kind of demonstrate um, how to install the chip onto it, onto the board. But first, I'm going to put it back into the frame of the ECU, which is right here. Uh, I kind of just wire wheeled it and polished it up a little bit. But uh, you got to cut out a notch on the ECU here so you can fit your cable to data log with. Um, once this is all installed, you'll see why you need this notch right here. We gotta notch the casing here so you can fit the data logging port on the chip, which is right there. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get this guy installed back into the case. And then once it's back installed into the case, I'll show you how to insert this chip in and uh, how to test it. All right guys, so the ECU is now all buttoned up. I got the Honda S300 installed into the uh, board here. So this is just pushes into those pins that I soldered into the computer and then the data logging header gets soldered right there. And another thing I didn't mention is you need to remove J12. Uh, J12 is just a jumper wire on the board right in this area here. You need to remove that for the data logging feature to work on Honda or any data logging for that matter. You need to always remove J12. But now that that's good, we are going to plug this in and test it and I'll show you how to do that quick. Okay, so now that I got the Honda installed into the computer and plugged into the car, um, 
pretty much to test to make sure everything is good is you can just turn the key forward and check to see if the light goes on and off, the check engine light. And it does. And the Honda has a green light flashing. So the green light means go. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit and going through some stuff and setting my ignition timing on my car and making sure everything is working on here for him and uh, just verifying everything works. But that's pretty much the basics of uh, getting the Honda Atta installed into your ECU and uh, setting it up to the car. I will do another Honda Atta uh, video in the future for you guys. I just wanted to do this quick one to show you um, kind of what goes into putting one into your P28. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get a Honda Atta at some point for my own car. Um, I just don't really have the money right now currently to get one, but would be cool to definitely do some of this stuff for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you did, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see with Honda Atta in the future. And um, I can try my hardest to work hard to get my own. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching guys, and uh, we will see you later.